Today, let's explore a narrative that weaves together creativity, coffee, and a touch of luck. This is the story of the webcam in the world and a coffee maker that captured the attention of the community. In the early 1990s, the corridors of the University of Cambridge buzzed with the sound of keystrokes and the hum of big ideas. But amidst this hive of activity, a problem brewed. The computer scientists, ensconced in their labs, faced a daily dilemma a coffee pot located in the Trojan Room, often empty by the time they arrived. Dr. Quentin Stafford Fraser and Dr. Paul Yardetsky. In 1991, these two researchers, fueled by the need for a steady flow of caffeine, concocted a plan. They rigged a small camera to capture images of the coffee pot and connected it to their internal network. Now, with a few clicks, everyone could see if a fresh brew awaited them. The coffee pot cam was a hit within the walls of Cambridge. But it wasn't until 1993 that the rest of the world would catch a glimpse. Dr. Martin Johnson, exploring the nascent web's capabilities, wrote a script that allowed the coffee pot images to be viewed online, and just like that, the first webcam was born. The coffee pot cam images were simple, full, empty, or half full. Yet, this mundane view captivated a global audience. It became a symbol of the internet's potential, a quirky footnote in tech history, and even inspired the hypertext coffee pot control protocol, an April Fool's joke that endures in tech lore. The webcam revolutionized communication, paving the way for video chats, live streams, and a world where visual connection is just a click away. The Trojan Room coffee pot may have been retired in 2001, but its legacy percolates through every pixel we stream today. So, the next time you sip on your coffee, remember the Trojan Room pot. A testament to human ingenuity, it reminds us that sometimes, the simplest solutions brew the most profound changes. If you enjoyed this story, like, share, and subscribe for more tech tales. And don't forget to comment below with your own memories of the early internet days.